I know it's been a while since I've shown you some updates on this tank. This is the JBJ 45 gallon all-in-one tank. Um, it has grown in a lot. Um, right here, if you see, I actually went over and had a customer that wanted some Monte Carlo, so I cleaned that up right here. Um, this had crepitomains all over here, uh, and I peeled that up all right here. But as you see, the Nubis Pinto um, is just overpopulating this tank, so I have to do a rescape pretty soon and move all that. The Agazu is super beautiful, but it needs a bigger uh, bigger tank, so I've put that on there. Uh, Mr. Groot, everybody likes Mr. Groot. Uh, my Purple Knight Sword is great. It's been able to propagate a couple times, so I'm able to get some customers that. Um, everybody always wonders what, what this plant in back. This is a Crypt, Crypt Sparellus Tiger. If you see, I can zoom in on the leaves. Super beautiful. All the fish are super happy in this tank. As you see, I got some cardinals. I have some albino cardinals. I have some CPDs in this tank. I have some amanos. That one just had a zoom right in. I have some uh, Siamese algae eaters. I think I got a couple of those in there. I got some nerite snails, some zero nerite snails. And then I have a, um, I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. I have a beautiful Dumbo beta that actually likes to get, let's see if I can pet her on camera here. There it goes, she likes to get petted on camera. Um, then she likes to get fed. But this is her bed up here, which is super cool. I like it. Uh, but this tank is coming out really well. Kind of show you what's all going on in here. So we open up the bottom here. All right, so what I have going on underneath here is I have my CO2 being injected. That's a Milwaukee CO2 regulator. Yes, it's a one stage. I don't worry about it dumping because I always check my tank. As you see, um, it's roughly about one bubble a second on there. Uh, my PSI is about 18 PSI because I'm using an atomizer, which I'll show you. I'm using a Felix Smart um, running my, it's a controller system in there. I have the true temp heater, which is set at 77 degrees. In the tank, I have the JBJ Nano ATO in here as well. Um, it's got the Orion light, which I have a program set on there. I, the preset program was a little bit too much light, so I just went over and I did it myself. Um, yes, there is like light on here. It's the pH is too low for the, um, the Felix Smart. It's not really made to have um, lower pH, so I keep my pH pretty low in here. I do believe it's at 6.2 show you the turnaround on this one but if you guys want to go back on a previous video you can actually see me aquascape it this tank has been really happy for me um, this moss right here this is provoconda which I need to retie this back down as you see it looks the mat just got super big on here so I just need to go over and re-get this down uh, on here um, this is hooker ace moss. Um, as you see, like hooker ace moss grows upwards. When you put in a high CO2 tank, um, it just looks completely different. Um, as you see, I don't have that much surface agitation in here at all, so a lot of my CO2 stays in. The atomizer is actually in back attached to my outtake. So let me just get this on here. Just gotta put everything back in because I was moving some stuff around today. But it's a beautiful, Beautiful tank. Uh, thank you, JBJ, for sponsoring the tank for me. The soil in there is uh, Shrimp King. Um, it's the Scaper's uh, soil, which is also the same as the uh, Shrimp Tank soil. But I love this. Customers love coming in here and checking it out. So any questions on it, just let me know. Shoot a comment. Give me a like. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe and the like button. Um, I do also have the membership, so if you join the memberships, you get 10% off on the, the first one and then 15% off on the second uh, tier, and the third tier, is you end up getting 20% off. So thank you guys very much for tuning in, and we'll check you next time.